This is Digital Perspectives with Brad Kimes. Subscribe for new content notifications. Now, here's Brad Kimes. Come on in. All right, welcome back to Digital Perspectives, everybody. I'm Brad Kimes. You can follow me on Twitter at Backup Bradley Above. And everything that we're talking about here today, a lot of stuff to really look at here. Uh, we're going to take a look at some quick news. First of all, look at the price. Moving slow. Another calm day on the Western Front here. Uh, you know, uh, you know, 30 cents holding nice and strong. You see the sales aren't really jumping off on Fiat Link, but you know what? It's a solid 30 cent, and we'll take it for now, and we will keep an eye on it. All right, so real quick, guys, the reason I'm sharing this so much is because it's a free monthly newsletter. You get a little video. I may do the newsletter as a video. However it goes, you're going to get some exclusive content that I will not be sharing on the show. And I'm telling you, if you have friends, family, co-workers, neighbors, I just completed an educational course course for cryptocurrency in understanding Bitcoin, Ethereum better, and XRP, as well as cryptocurrency in general and some of this terminology that's out here and really getting a good, solid uh, foundation built to get in this space and to get in this space quickly because I know there's going to be a lot of people with the news of the OCC and the banks and institutions moving into this space lots of brick and mortar companies going public you know uh, this is going to bring mass amounts of people into this space I've already got people calling me and contacting me now going hey man tell me about XRP and I want to but I had time a year ago I don't have time now, and it's not to be rude, but now I'm going to point them in the direction of the courses and tell them, listen, just take these. They're bundled up. They're, they got everything in there that you need to get started, and I think that's the best place to go. So a lot of really great stuff coming up for uh, the members that sign up for that free monthly newsletter. Make sure you do that. Real quickly, let's take a look at this. Standard Chartered enters cryptocurrency custody business, targets year-end pilot. Uh, this is what we like to see. <laughs> we know Standard Chartered has been involved with Ripple for a while. Um, it's it's just great to see. I think this is where we start to see some of these NDAs begin to burn off to a degree, right? Maybe it's a little further down the road for a couple others, but the truth is 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 that we're coming up on a moment here where. If you're going to really have the dot-com era of crypto with the picks and shovels, the brick and mortar getting into this space, and the institutions laying large money on betting on companies, I'm telling you, you're going to see some of these non-disclosure agreements we've talked about for so many years start to burn off. And Standard Charter is obviously just clearly getting into the game. So this is exciting. Standard Charter is huge. And we actually have, uh, what what was it? Uh, is it Kahindra Dykes, I believe, that worked at Ripple? Was it Facebook beforehand? Is now over at Standard Charter? Just a note away, as they say. And that's really wonderful. So exciting stuff for Standard Charter. What I want to talk about today, though, is Swift and Ripple. <laughs> oh, we've had a couple things come up. Let's go ahead and get into this. And I am excited to see your comments ladies and gentlemen underneath of this video and what you make of this information we are about to look at because I think it's pretty exciting it looks very promising to me shout out to Victoria it's a uh, PWZRDXR on Twitter for this uh, post this this uh, tweet here and that really kinda got everything going so Swiss route has now offered both Swift and Ripple in one platform uh-oh, mic drop. With Swiss Route RippleNet TM adapter, processing transactions through the RippleNet TM will be easier, offering an out-of-the-box integration. Let's take a better look here. Swiss Route has now offers or or ha, now offers both Swift and Ripple in one platform. 
with the Swiss route, RippleNet TM adapter processing transactions will be easier, offering out-of-box integration. RippleNet is a blockchain-based solution that removes friction from uh, cross-border payments by enabling the world to securely move money the way information moves today. The solution works within a large network of partners. This network enables financial institutions to efficiently engage with hundreds of counterparties and sell payments in real time with a single API connection. Joining RippleNet gives you access to software to enable fast, transparent, reliable cross-border payments, one standardized API for all counterparty connections, a network of global banks and payment providers governed by rules and functional standards. Now that is something to behold. There is a world of possibilities for your financial institutions to benefit from, uh, from through this Swiss route Ripple bundle. Now let's keep it moving. This is the document that what we just read came from. I'm going to take you to that portion of the document right now. There's information on Finestra, information here on Ripple, right? What's interesting here, and this, like I said, this is the information that we just went over and I just read you, right? You see it here. But I want to go back up here so you better understand Swiss route for banks. Efficient and secure Swift connectivity, now including RippleNet adapter. With Swiss Route, you don't need to acquire or license any of the proprietary Swift hardware and software required to connect to their network. Instead, you can leverage our secure cloud-based services. Our infrastructure is compliant with Swift, secu Swift security and business continuity standards, and we manage all of the upgrades so that you can take advantage of all of the latest Swift capabilities. With Swift Route, our bank can connect to multiple banks through a single secure channel. Once connected, streamline and automate your business flows by communicating with your bank's partners using our global standardized ISO and proprietary format messages. ISO, remember that. Swiss Route has been developed by IBS, IBIS Management Associates in partnership with Finestra to provide institutions with connectivity to Swiss Payment Gateway. Swiss Route has a real-time interface with Alch Alchemy Connect, but can also be implemented as a standalone solution. The solution under the Swiss Route umbrella also include an automated compliance filter, automated reconciliation solution, as well as backup and recovery. Swiss Routes for Corporates, it runs through this and lays down the same thing, and it basically talks about connecting and integrating to the Swift network. I'm not going to read that to you, but what's interesting here is, is that I got this is a PDF which I will share in the comment section from Michael Val Five Links. You better believe it. And I'm going to tell you what, it's straight fire. This is from September 2019. And what's interesting about this is that we know that Swift has said that they're going to delay things because of the pandemic. Um, however, one has to wonder, right? One has to wonder. GPI for Financial Institution Transfer Services Executive Summary. Here it goes into optional SWIFT GPI services, right, and talks about different uh, financial institution transfers, value propositions, all of these things. Let me just move through here because I'm not going to go over every uh, speck of the document here. I will put it out for you guys to see. Key uses for uh, GFIT service, and it gives all the liquidity optimization, trading capacity settlement, OPS process efficiency. Uh, let's see. Version 2 will take in consideration the needs from capital market users. Capital market institutions, both MT103, MT202 payment instructions with their counterparties, their value significantly higher than payment instructions exchanged by other types of customers. And then it talks about here, uh, MT-103s only represent 10 to 15 percent of the MT-103s on SWIFT, but their rate of growth is significantly higher. So it's talking about how fast these things are growing, just evaluating through this document where the benefits are, who could be, you know, who could be the uh, 
the big winner in in the use of of updating technology and things of the like so here we talk about what are the benefits of gpi and how would capital markets use this service we carried out broad industry consultation uh interviewing over 30 large capital markets institutions including asset managers funds players uh investment banks global regional custodian banks securities market infrastructures Securities market infrastructures. Uh huh. Yeah. Like NASDAQ, like the New York Stock Exchange, places like that. Yeah. Mm hmm. DTCC, maybe. Yeah. All of that stuff. So, obviously, you recognize a lot of these names State Street, Street BNY Mellon, Standard Chartered. Goldman Sachs, City, BNP, Paribas, you know, CLS. A lot of these we know are involved with Ripple. Processing cash in capital markets is, is a challenging and inefficient. And then it talks about the key challenges, the outgoing cash transactions, right? And it talks about failed securities of FX trades, right? So we're talking about enormous size markets here, right? Enormous. All right, capital markets instructions to see value in using uh, GPI. It talks about reduce operational risk and cost through, and it gives the real-time tracking, which reduces expectations and inquiries. Perform investigations on payment legs of capital market transactions more simply and efficiently. Optimize liquidity management, and then it gives all the enable real-time view of payments across across different nostros, which is interest, interesting because up until now, we didn't have that ability unless you have Swift GPI or Ripple's network because that was cited in the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau document that we saw that we covered here on the channel where it clearly uh, explained that that was the rule change that they were making that the CFPB, right? Is it to be able to see those transactions before hitting send on them? The sender and receiver could see what they're choosing. Okay, so here we go. Now, um, enhanced customer experience, and it talks about improving data accuracy of payment status, providing transparency on payment costs, offering better settlement windows and improving cash management, reinvesting surplus cash in assets or in the market. How about that? GPI for financial institutions transfer service roadmap. And then it comes down through here. Financial institution transfer service delivered in a phased approach. A phased approach. Phasing it in. Right? So here we have looking uh, through last year and looking into this year, November 20 and 2021. Right? So here we have optin optional service to all GPI banks or plus early adopters with business rules and observer for registered banks. Interesting. November 2020. By November 2021, mandatory for GPI banks uh, when migrating to ISO. Business rules and specifications adapted by or adapted for ISO migration, potential extension, and functionality scope. Okay, so moving down here, uh, functioning same level of credit transfer services. It runs through this. Uh, what I want to get to here that you're going to like to see is rate institutional transfer service early adopter program. What you get here's what we want. Okay, so here's what we want to go. SWIFT is organizing an early adopter program to ensure successful go-to-market and community adoption of a full GPI solution for financial institution transfers. The early adopter program is to existing GPI members, non-GPI financial institutions involved in capital markets activity. Right? What you have to do is go live by the end of 2020, promote the solution by gathering end user testimonial solution benefits from liquidity management trade, securities, and FX internal and external stakeholders, advocate the solution benefits with cash services providers, share implementation effort and best practices, contribute to market promotion via SWIFT and industries, events, and articles, etc., and then what you get, an opportunity to validate, test, and implement the solution specifications, a complimentary onboarding service provided by SWIFT. What I love about this is right here, 
This is the take it home moment. Look at this timeline here. The early adopters phase, right? 2019, agree V2 solutions rule work specifications. Implementation all through the first part of this year, 2020. Now here we are in August, right here. They're uh, obviously in the early adopter program draft timeline. Their testing is what they're saying right now in this document. They're testing right now through until it looks like November when they go live with early adopter program for Swift GPI, right? And the ISO 2022 migration. Now, this is interesting because, you know, we understand this. Let me pull this up. Ripple, back in May, it was announced, joins the ISO Global Standards Body on cross-border payments. Ripple claims to be the first DLT focus member of the Global ISO 2022 standard body, driving international standards for interoperability between financial institutions. And here it is on Ripple's site, where they made the announcement at the same time. Shaping the future of cross-border payments. The world is converging on a new global standard, ISO 2022, the de facto global data standard for modern payments. To help enable this step in global interoperability and meet the evolving needs of our customers, Ripple is now a part of the ISO 2022 standards body for the first member to focus on di distributed ledger technology, DLT. Join us in the shift of the future. And they ask for a call to action to learn more. And Ripple is helping shape the new world of payments, all while reducing operational overhead for financial institutions on RippleNet. Now, that's a lot to unpack, but let me tell you something. That's a lot to see right there. Now listen, this document is from September 2019. For all we know, maybe the early adopter thing has gotten pushed back because of the pandemic. All I know is, is when I get information, I'm bringing it to you guys. And from there, we can say, you know what? Why don't we say to ourselves, and this is what I would say to myself, I'm going to pay attention to this September, November, right? No, more like November, go live moment, November, December time frame, and say, hey, what hurts to put a check on the calendar and say, hey, I should come back and, and check that month and just keep my head on a swivel there in case we see any ramping up of payments in that time frame by early adopters and if we should see anything that's reflective in the market and we could come back and go you know what maybe this document's still on target right maybe it hasn't changed we don't know we don't know but what i do know is is i want you to understand what we're looking at here and as much as i can see from this this is exactly what it looks like and it's very exciting so that's where we're at today on this day ladies and gentlemen what I can also tell you is is that capital markets are enormous right that's where they take really a lot of saved money and they take it and invest it for people and use it in a very big big way right where they raise capital to invest in things so it's this gets more interesting because this document talks about FX settlements, right? Clearing securities. <laughs> yeah, I will put this in the comment section for all of you to see. And shout out again to the person who posted originally on that original post, uh, Victoria. And shout out to Michael Val Five Links. You guys are on fire. That's really great stuff. Follow them both. And appreciate both of you sharing the information with all of us. And that's going to do it for me. So, guys, look at this stuff. Look at it responsibly, right? Take it as information. We need to source it and, 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 and kind of vet it out, right? We're going to need some time to go by to see if we can confirm anything being legit or not. Swift has publicly said that they've pushed back the 2022 date. But you know what? Who knows, you know, who knows, 
The art of surprise is certainly a powerful tool. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe on the way out. Don't forget to join that free monthly newsletter. Going to be a lot of great stuff in there for you guys. And I will catch you on the next one.